This is an overview of the simple pop-up widget. It adds a button or an icon to the page that when you click on it, it can show more information inside of your page. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. To get started, I'm going to search in the widgets pane for a simple pop-up. And I'm gonna drag and drop it into my Elementor canvas. So what this widget does, it's a button that when the user clicks on it, it's going to open a pop-up. And one of the nice things about it is that you can use three types of source types. Text editor, which you can see down here, you can put whatever text you want inside of your pop-up. So I'm just gonna put some text about the motorcycle over here. And I'm gonna click update to save, and I'm going to preview the page. Now when I click on it, it's going to show the pop-up text inside of my pop-up. And I can close that pop-up and open it whenever I want. So this is called a simple pop-up, since inside of Elementor there is already pop-ups for whoever using a, the pro version and that has all sorts of conditions and stuff like that complicated stuff but this is a simple version just an example when you want to add more information and you just want to click a button or click an icon and get some extra information on that topic so the first way of doing this is the text editor as i showed before Another way of doing this is with an Elementor template. Now this would require using Elementor Pro because templates are only in, with Elementor Pro. I made a template beforehand and I'm gonna select that template. I'm gonna update the page to save it and I'm gonna preview the page. Now when I click on it, you can see that it's showing the template that I made earlier inside of the pop-up. The last way of using this is actually with a section on the page. And this is the way I like the most because it's the most flexible way and it doesn't require editing extra pages or templates or stuff like that. So I really like this way and this is the way that I suggest you use it. So first of all, I'm going to create the content that's going to be inside of my template going to open a new section over here just going to do one column and I'm going to add some text over here so specifications of the motorcycle and I'm going to add a intersection and in that intersection I'm going to have four columns and in each column what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a semicircle progress bar and this is just a unique way of showing statistics, which I want to show about that uh, motorcycle over here. And you can play around with the colors and stuff like that. I'm not gonna design this too much, but just so you get the idea. So fuel consumption, hope you write it that way. And let's do 97%. And I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times. And each time I'll add a different label. So capacity, let's do 83%. Awesome. So we got that set up. We got our statistics set up. I'm going to add a little bit of padding over here. So on the top 30 pixels, on the bottom. 30 pixels and this is all set. Now I need to connect this part with the content over here. Now, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm going to go into the section. In the advanced tab, we have a CSS ID and I'm gonna call it specs. Now when I go back to the pop-up widget, which is this button over here, I'm going to choose element ID and now there's room for adding an element ID. And you can see that when I don't have an element ID, it's saying that no element ID is found. So I'm going to paste my element ID over here 
And now these two are actually connected. So just to show that, even though it's not going to fit in nicely, I'm just going to save the page and show you that now it's showing inside. Now, the last part to finish up this tutorial, I want to show you the options for layout and styling. So first of all, you can see over here vertical align and horizontal align. This is talking about the whole pop-up. So right now it's in the center and in the center that's where it's showing. But I'm going to show it at the end and at the end because I want it snapped to the bottom. Over here inside of style we can design our button. That's just the regular button settings like padding and radius, colors and hover colors, all of that. And we have an option for the pop-up itself. So over here in the pop-up for the width I'm going to go for VW, which is like percent, and I'm going to put over here 100% because I want it to be 100% wide. And for the height, I'm just going to leave it as 400. So let's click Update to Save. And now, when I'm going to preview the page, click on that pop up, you can see that we have it nicely showing over here. Let's close that. And the next part I'm going to edit is the overlay. So over here inside of the overlay, we have some padding. I'm going to change that to zero because I don't want it to push my pop-up at all. And for the background over here, we can push up the opacity a little bit just so the overlay is a little bit darker. Now, if you don't want to jump in and save each time, what you could do is go over here into content debug and testing and over here we have an option for debug pop-up so when I turn that on it just shows me the container of the pop-up and now I can see the width I can see the layout I can see the close button so for example let's edit the close button and I'm going to add zero in the offset over here and let's make it not rounded so zero radius and I'm going to make it much bigger so let's go for 40 pixels and the outer part is going to be 70. That's just an example of how I could make that bigger. Now we can turn off the debug so back to content debug and I'm going to turn off the debug. Now let's update the page and preview the live page. So there you go. Here's my close button. I got a full width pop up over here. My overlay is darker. By the way, when you click up on the overlay, that also closes the pop up. Now, let's say that I'm finished editing my pop up and I don't want this section to show because it's just interfering with me designing the page. What you could do is again in debug and testing, we have an option over here for hide connected elements. So I'm going to click that and now it's going to hide whatever is connected to the pop up because I'm done editing that and I don't want it to show anymore. So that's an awesome feature as well. And over here we can change the icons of the close button and of the pop up icon. If you don't want an icon, you can also turn that off and then the icon won't show at all. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.